Welcome to lesson six from my intro to MATLAB on RAM series. In this lesson, we will continue using the built-in live editor in MATLAB, specifically running different types of scripts this time. So to start off, note that the live editor contains formatted text, code, and section breaks. And now this on-ramp course contains track headers to indicate where to enter code. And also keep in mind that MATLAB displays any output in the output pane that is to the right of the code, which we'll be able to clearly see here in a minute. And so starting off with this first task, it's just telling us to run the script that's already in the live script here. So I'll go ahead and hit the run button up here. And so of course, on the right, in the output pane, we get the outputs r equals 3 as well as the value of x based on the calculation written and next it's telling us to modify the command for task 1 so that r has a value of 0 0.5 instead of 3 so we'll change that and hit submit and so of course the value of r now changes as well as the value of x since x depends on r now moving on to our bonus step, if we want to execute the code for just one section, we can go ahead and use the run section button in the MATLAB tool strip. And now here we want to change the value of R and only run that section with R. So let's change this to say R equals 0 0.25. And now we'll go ahead and run this using the run section button and so as you can see on the right the value of r changes to 0 0.25 but as expected the x value stays the same because we decided to only run that first section also notice that the tool strip allows you to switch between text and code modes by using the text and code buttons and there's also this section break button that allows you to add new sections just like so. And now we're just tasked with inserting the text calculate circumference in this new section here. So after switching to the text mode, I'll go ahead and copy this text over. And now we will include this code here to calculate the circumference 2 times pi times r. And notice that I switched back into code mode, since this is, of course, a line of code. And now we can just run this to get the results. And now let's just go ahead and tackle the second activity, where this time we will be debugging MATLAB code, specifically one with errors. So let's keep in mind that errors prevent your code from running, which might be intuitive enough. Now, if an error occurs while MATLAB is running, or if MATLAB detects a significant issue in your code, a status indicator with an error icon will pop up at the top right. And also, the code issue will be underlined in red, just like we can see in line 4 here. And also, across from it on our output pane, we see the message and valid use of operator which of course briefly describes the type of error. And of course, this is an error because there is an extra asterisk included in this calculation. And so the program can't recognize when there are duplicate operators like we see here. So I'll go ahead and simply remove that extra multiplication sign to fix the error. And of course, now we get our result on the right. Moving on to our final step, notice that we now have a yellow status indicator or yellow line under the R variable in the first line of code, which says that the value assigned to the variable might be unused. And so you might be wondering what exactly does this mean? This type of warning basically happens whenever a variable is repeated in a code. And now before diving deeper into this issue, note that with these type of errors, 
the script will still run, but these warnings just help you find potential issues or opportunities to improve your code. And now again, this particular warning happens when a variable is repeated. So as you can see here, of course, in this case, we have two instances of the variable R with two different values, where of course, R on the first line gets a new value on the next line. And if you remember, when you run a script, MATLAB always uses the latest value of a variable. So the first value, three, never gets used. And now this type of warning is helpful because sometimes we might unintentionally use the same variable twice throughout a program. And so this indicator will help us recognize where we had already used that same variable. And so maybe in this case, you may have intended to use the first value of R and not R equals six. So to simply fix this error, we can either delete the second line or just simply change the letter of that variable. In this case, I'll go ahead and simply do the latter by changing R to A. And so now MATLAB will of course run the first value of R where R equals three. And so we get our result of X using R equals three.